one. Good night, everybody. We are here with WWDW Event Chats Live. And we are back, you guys. We had to take a week off because we had a lot of different things going on. But we are here with some awesome new guests. Yay. And so I want to take this time really quick to introduce them. Renee, why don't you tell people where you blog and where they can find you on social? Hey, guys. You can find me at talesofonemomsmess.com. Or it's where I blog at. And I'm One Mom's Mess on Twitter and Instagram. Awesome. And we have the awesome Audrey. Audrey, go ahead and tell everybody where you where you blog at in your socials. Hey, guys. So I blog at momgenerations.com. And my social channels on Instagram and Twitter are uh, my name, just at Audrey McClellan. Awesome. And of course, we have Andrea. Hey, Andrea, go ahead and share it with everybody really quick where you, they can find you. Hey guys, I'm Andrea Updike, and that's my social everywhere, Andrea Updike, and you can find my website at justisafourletterword.com. Awesome, and I'm Nicole Mucci, you guys. I blog over at The Creative Stay at Home Mom. You guys can find me on social at The Creative Sam on everything. So we are going to dig in super quick because there is so much to talk about. We are going to talk about the new policies that are happening at Disney. And there's been a lot of talk about this the last you know, week. It's been all over social. And we are here to kind of give our opinions on what we think of all of this. So yeah. <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this, you guys. So um, Audrey, what do you think about you know the new policies? Like, what have you heard? And how, how do you feel about you know all this stuff and how it's going to impact people going? Yeah, I mean, I think it's like the two big ones that I've heard, been hearing about on social, especially too, is um, the stroller policy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yes. you know that seems to be a big one. And to be honest with you, just because I remember traveling to Disney a, a handful of times with four kids, where large strollers were actually needed. So you know, the the obviously you guys know, but you know, the regulation now prohibits strollers larger than 31 inches wide and 52 inches long. So, and they have banned the stroller wagons pretty much altogether. So, um, you know, for a lot of people that's gonna be, and I get why they're doing it. It's to ease congestion, to make it not as, you know, let's face it, we've all been behind like a big stroller where you're bumped or, you know, it's just so big. But, um, you know, yeah, I mean, I've heard a lot of the times from moms of like multiple children that, you know, it's gonna impact they take on Disney because they need, to be honest with you, either a double stroller or a larger stroller to get around. Yeah, yeah, sure. Exactly. Yeah, I think, I think, I, of course, I only have two children, not only, but you know, I have two children, um, and we've always loved having a stroller. So I am a huge fan of a double stroller. Um, I think it's super necessary. I mean, we had our kids in strollers until. I think they were maybe six and seven. I mean, Disney is a long day. You have to have something to give the little feet a rest. And even if they walk all over town in your real life, they need to be able to rest. Disney is just not the same. So I definitely see the need for the stroller. I think I'm guessing that Disney kind of had to, to really um, get ahead of the issue before Galaxy's Edge opens because yeah. there are going to be so many more people there. I think it's just something that had to have some specific guidelines because I feel like they thought they had said one thing, but then the lines were getting kind of blurred. And as that happens, things get bigger and bigger. And you have these different rental companies that are coming in with very creative solutions that a lot of people are loving, but at the same time, it's not working for everyone. So I can understand it. Um, and hopefully with the new guidelines in place, people will be able to plan ahead and know, okay, this is how I need to do it. And there are some really good rental companies that have plenty of strollers. If you don't want to use the Disney rental kind, um, that are very comfortable, you know, and will fit even larger children because my kids are pretty tall. So we had to, we had to get some, you know, longer. I would in a stroller if I still could at Disney. I am I would so be in a stroller. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um renee out of all these policies which one do you think which one i mean do you actually like out of all of these if there is one that you like <laughs> i actually like the no smoking in the parks i'm i'm okay with that 
not that it didn't bother. I mean, we never walked through the smoking sections anyway, so it wasn't a huge deal. But at Disneyland, because of the um, marijuana being legal, I will say we have walked through clouds of that in the park. So that never <laughs> even crossed my mind. Yeah, I hadn't thought oh, about yeah. that piece of it. It's a good point. Wow. Yeah, yeah I can I, see that. Um, did anyone else just lose Nicole on the screen? I still have her. I still have her. <laughs> I don't. So if I'm talking over her, please let me know. <laughs> No, I was going to say, so the smoking thing, um, I have okay. to say. So I don't know if Nicole is talking, but um, I. <laughs> is she? <laughs> she? She had just started. <laughs> okay. Put up a finger or something. I'm going to do that now to Vera. I'm going to be like, I just can't see you. So I'm know. Gonna... <laughs> I'm going to go out and I'll come right back. I'll go out and back. Okay. Let me try again. Good. Um. <laughs> No, but um, you got to love these bloopers, you guys, you know, I love it. Um, it's live, you can get better than that. You know, I know. But what I was going to say about the smoking thing is um, I honestly, I love it that they banned it for the simple fact that um, my kids are super allergic to it. I am super allergic to it. I mean, if I just get a whiff or anything, my ears start itching, like I start coughing. And so I'm super, super glad because like even with the designated smoker areas, people weren't adhering to that. I mean, I would see people walking around with a cigarette and I'm like, really guys? Like, right. you know, and I know it's been controversial because a lot of people are like, you know what? Well, uh, you know, it's not gonna matter. And you're just like, you're telling people that, you know, yeah. that they can't come here if they can't smoke. And I'm like, you know what? You can't smoke on a flight. I mean, and sometimes people travel, to, you know, 12 hours, 15 hours, and they can, you know, they can help themselves. So it's like, you know, for a couple hours, you know, you, you don't have to do it, you know, or you can go outside of the park if you absolutely have to. Mm -hmm. so. and, you know, there are ways to ease it a little bit. I, I do have some, some empathy um, because I know, you know, I'm not personally a smoker, but I know plenty of people who are, and it's not, you know, something that's just easy to flip a switch and you're, you're, oh, I can go the whole day. You know, it's obviously something that's very in, in ingrained in their lifestyle. Um, but one option maybe would be to wear like a patch, like a, a nicotine patch that day mm -hmm. that might help a little bit or like plan your stops around, um, where you can kind of zigzag to the front of the park and back instead of going all the way to the back and then coming back forward. You know what I mean? People are going to have to get creative, but um, you know, in my mind, again, same as the stroller thing, I just see it as got to keep the people moving, <laughs> you know, like you can't stand still. And like, even if they're off to the side, it's still like this sort of stopping traffic. And I just really feel like the crowds are going to be so crazy by the end of the year. Um, maybe that's not, I mean, that's just me picking it out. Like, it makes sense yeah. to me, but. They're going to need the, that space for people. So they could be. Yeah, and just getting people to walk through, especially in Magic Kingdom. It's a big, long pathway. Right. Um, I don't even know if it's open right now with all the Tron construction. That might be another reason. Yeah. Um, that walkway. Yeah, it is. Um, another thing that, um, Renee, you've actually uh, written about this is the whole credit card policy now that's in effect. Yes, at the Disney World hotels. So um, they now, as soon as you check in, I mean, even if you do online check-in, it, it goes on the, first, the day you check in at like 8 a.m. in the morning. They put a hold for $100 on your card. And then anytime you charge back to the room with your using your magic band or your card, then they authorize that amount So as another hold. So it's not a charge. So say you go to dinner and you spend $200 on dinner, they're going to put a hold for $200 on your card. Then every fifth day or upon checkout, whichever one is first, they're going to do a full the balance. They're going to charge that full balance off of onto your card. So you essentially have all these holds that are on your card stacking up. Then you have this big charge. So you need, you basically have like double charges on your card until those holds fall off. And the holds could take up to 30 days to fall off, depending on your credit card. 
So, so if this is new to me. Towards something else. That's a big. That's a big chunk of money drop. Exactly. Okay, I see what you mean. Wow. That okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. So like, I we spent two days there. We spent. We charged back like seven hundred dollars back to our room. So, and I didn't know exactly how it worked. I just saw pending charges. Cause that's all you see. You don't say, it doesn't say hold. It just says pending charges. Um, and so we'd see all those pending charges and I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, they're just charging it off like each night or whatever. And then upon checkout two days later, they charged almost $700 to the card that went through as an actual transaction. Wow. Well, that other $700 of those various charges took two weeks to fall off the card. Wow. Ooh, okay. So if you're a family that, budgets and yeah. you're very close to your budget. This is my budget for Disney. It's don't charge back to the room. <laughs> yeah, that that's a really good piece of advice because I know in the past it, they've done this sort of every third or fourth day, they'll, they'll do a big chunk and they'll charge it off to your card, but there, ha there weren't those holds going through. And especially if you're using a debit card, yeah, it's going to be a big problem for you. So that's really, really good information to have for sure. Yeah, see, I, I don't have debit cards. Sorry. No, no. Go ahead, Audrey. No, I feel like on my last, it was like maybe like two or three trips ago, I, I stopped actually using like the magic band connecting my credit card because I let my older two kids have access <laughs> to it. Oh, no. And, no, and they weren't crazy. I mean, I'll be honest with you. It's not like they were getting anything that was like over the top. But like I said to my husband, I'm like, even myself, you know, you grab a water, you grab a lemonade, a popcorn. And then at the, you know, but when I have my credit card, I'm much more in like budget conscious. Like I'm, I'm just so, listen guys, I'm not buying everybody an ice cream sandwich. We're going to buy one and split it. Yes. But when I have that magic band, it literally is magic. I, it, it, <laughs> I, I think I have all the money in the world. I'm charging everything. Yes. So, Food in you know, line, you go to those little booths, it's like $3, $4. And you're like, oh, no problem. <laughs> you pay my bill. <laughs> one, 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 the easiest it can be. Like, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to stop because of because of that. I love right. the last time I went, right. I didn't connect them up because I didn't want to have so much money taken out that yeah. I'm not actually thinking about, you know. Yeah. I mean, honestly, with the whole um, I don't have any credit cards. We don't have any credit cards. Um, we only use debit cards. And so now I'm like, okay, well, I'm definitely not going to be, you know, doing any of that. Yeah. But um, the other thing that we do a lot is we use cash. So I'll take out cash and I'm like, okay, this is all we have to spend while we are at the parks and all this stuff. So you guys really have to watch what you get. I mean, if you get something for the day, I mean, that's it. That's your snack. You know, mm -hmm. there is no more, you know, that because I mean, I would, avoid that you know like over usage of stuff like that because my, my kids are small i mean i feel like every 15 minutes they're like oh my god i'm thirsty yes I'm hungry. Constant. I'm mom. and i'm like you just ate oh well i want a snack i want an ice cream and i'm like you just had an ice cream no i want another ice cream i don't like, grow out of that that's vacation <laughs> i'm like are you kidding me like people and my husband has like a tapeworm. We'll eat. He'll eat like a turkey leg. And 15 minutes later, he's like, oh, man, can we go to Cosmic Rays? Because I'm like, I really want a burger or something. Like, Are you kidding me? The real <laughs> trouble is when people start, when you've gone a few times and everybody has their favorite that they have to get. It's like, yes. well, I have to have popcorn, but I need a Mickey bar. You know, I really need a citrus swirl. We would be broke. Let me yes. just love it. Okay. Yes. We would be broke. <laughs> But anyways, um, so yeah, so the policies, you know, like, you know, there's been a lot of back and forth. I mean, I, I, I was in a Disney group where I saw people were just like, man, they were like just so upset, and you know, like the ticket prices are going to be going up, um, mm -hmm. you know, and all of that. And so they were like, that doesn't, you know, the prices of the tickets are going up and now they're implementing all these rules. And then I'm like, y'all know you still gonna go to Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll you work. Know, I, mean, I mean, that's just the way it is. And I mean, I, I get it, right? The ticket prices have to go up because, I mean, what people don't understand is you got to pay electricity. You got to pay wages. You have to pay for all these new things that are happening. The, you know, the building of all these new attractions that are coming. 
And not to mention, like, they just got a pay increase for the employees, which, I mean, they should have. I mean, they worked really hard to what they did. You know, so, I mean, I... I feel like, you know, the policies aren't that big of a deal. I know everybody was like, ah, you know, like, oh, chaos or whatever. The stroller thing for me, we don't really do strollers because yeah. I know this sounds crazy, but I still carry my son. Like, mm -hmm. I put him on my back, you know, and we truck, you know, truck around. Because for me, it's just easier. Like, instead of me having to roll the stroller and stuff, and my seven-year-old has the energy level of, like, ten human beings. So <laughs> yeah. there is no I'm need like that. <laughs> to have a stroller and yeah. so i'm just like for me i mean it's not a big deal for me it's not but well but, yeah. it's changed right nobody likes change when they added parking fees to the resorts last year the year before it was a big you know conversation and i mean most of the of the non-disney resorts have been a long time so it's like we we I think we just resist change because it already is a very big expense to take a family vacation at Disney World or Disneyland. Um, and it feels like, what, how? But, you know, every time I go, it feels like it's more crowded than the last time I went. And there's, I just don't know how else, I mean, I wouldn't be in that room making the decision of how do we, you know, figure out how to make it a magical experience for people without pricing out half the population <laughs> yeah right yeah for sure um what do you guys think about the new gondolas i love them no okay. will not catch me on them at all <laughs> <laughs> never so so this is a funny funny story me and renee are scared of heights yes um and we've been on a couple trips where we've had to do height things <laughs> yes Ferris wheels. I don't they keep putting us did on you them. die? It was close. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're going to prove you, that. Just, just don't look down. Just look straight out. It still yeah. does it for you, huh? No. Mm -mm. no. I think no, it's, there's a picture of me like actually praying to a glass. Okay. You were like, please <laughs> please, 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 please. I eye. I was like It's I not the eye anymore, it's something else. Oh, I can't. They change it. No, it's not the icon either. It's something else. Iconic eye? I don't know. I have no idea what it is, but it's not that anymore. So what I will say about the gondolas is that the one thing, I don't mind the heights. I don't even mind how fast they are because they're super fast. But if they start to swing, that's when I will get a little nervous. I'm like, please don't swing. And they have already put signs and they're telling people, do not swing the gondolas. Like that's you know, already like out there. Right. Someone's going to you know, gonna be up there swinging it, you know? Yeah. No, I know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm going to do it. I'm excited. We're going um, in October and I chose our resort for making sure that it had the gondolas so that we would use it for our transportation. So I'm excited. Do, I'm excited. You, guys, yeah. do you guys think that um, it'll help as far as like with the traffic flow of things? Because I mean, right now we have the ferries, we have the monorails, you know, we have the buses. Do you guys think that that'll alleviate a little bit of you know, when everybody's trying to go back home, that it'll help as far as, you know, with the flow of things? Or what do you guys think? Do you think the lines will still be like massive? Because everybody's going to want to ride them now. I was going to say, it's like the shiny new objects. And Every, yeah. like, everyone's going to want to, I mean, everything else is like might be dead. Everyone's going to yeah. want to try it. At least Maybe a really good time to ride the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. <laughs> Now I would I didn't read um if the gondolas go to all the resorts and and everything or I'm not really sure. No, so they go to um Pop Century and Caribbean Beach or Pop Century Art of Animation will both have access and then Caribbean Beach is the moderate and then I think it goes over to the Epcot Inter International Gateway. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if it stops at any of the uh, other resorts. I think that's it. I think it's like and then it goes to the moderate and it goes to Hollywood Studios one way and then it branches off to Epcot the other way. So you can get to it from Yacht Club and Boardwalk and all those, but it'll be actually at the entrance to Epcot, that back side entrance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we're going to be staying at Pop Century because I thought, you know, good old value resort, hop on the gondolas and just remember, don't trust your magic band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't charge to it. Nobody buys anything. <laughs> I won't have to go to Disney and bail you out. <laughs> um, I can it. think of worse places. I mean, there right. is to be right. Stuck, right? right? Very true. That's true. Um, but um, the other thing, too, I was going to talk about is um, we recently got to preview uh, Lightning McKean. Uh, McKean. <laughs> uh, that's, right. that's where you were last week yeah yeah and um so i have i have my little opinions on this okay <laughs> they are good and bad and so um it's 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 a show i really really was hoping for a ride mm. um but it's a show and it's a six minute show and i have to say my three and my seven year old enjoyed it um, you know, they like the music, they like the characters in it. I mean, my son loves Mater mm -hmm. and has the car from him and everything. Um, but you know, I, I mean, I get why they're doing it. I, I feel like there's not a lot, um, besides Toy Story Land and a couple other things for, you know, the younger kids to do. And I feel like they're mm -hmm. trying to embrace that and kind of make Hollywood studios more family friendly and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I, I really haven't. I'm curious to see if anybody watching has been yet. Um, if you have, uh, comment what you guys think about, you know, the show and if you liked it, you know, the pros and the cons and everything like that. So I'm excited too. Have you guys um, been able to watch any of the stuff on YouTube to kind of see what it looks like? I did a little bit and it looks like the Lightning McQueen car itself is like really, really cool and detailed and like, doesn't he talk to the crowd or like? Yeah, yeah. Around? Really, I mean, they did a really great job with him. Yeah, they did a really good job with him. Um, you know, it, it looks like he's actually Lightning McQueen. Like my kid was freaking out. My three year old was like, <laughs> "Oh, I love that." <laughs> Would you say it's comparable to like the Disney Junior live on stage kind of show? Oh, that's no. a good question. No, I mean it doesn't it doesn't have any of like anybody jumping or you know sing along or anything like like the Disney Junior Dance Party is very interactive in that sense. Mm -hmm. Here it's just like Lightning McQueen and he has like the screens of things going on, but it's not, it's definitely, you know, not like that. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, if you're a cars fan, I think it sounds like your little one had a good time. So I guess it's just sort of you know, your mileage may vary. <laughs> Pun intended. There you go. <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, my, yeah, my kids never really got into cars. I don't know why. We just, like, went straight to Marvel and Star Wars. Like, we skipped the whole car stage. Like, even Hot Wheels. Like, they just never cared anything about cars. So that was like, oh, but your boys, like I thought I was, I was all ready for it. You know? <laughs> what happened? I don't understand this. I know. Okay, so if you guys get to pick one, one favorite ride at Hollywood Studios, Audrey, I'm going to start with you. What would be your favorite ride and why? At Hollywood Studios? Yeah. I think Star, the Star Tours. That's, that's ours. You know, I kind of like what Andrea said, you know, I, I have four boys. And, you know, they just genuinely, from the time that they were like little guys, Star Wars has always been the thing. Um, and, and every time we've gone there, we've, the, you know, it's always been, it's always been, they've always wanted to do the Star Wars thing. That and of course the Indiana Jones, like my son used to love that. We used to go head to toe, all dressed up with like Indiana Jones with the whip. Um, it's it's kind of like, it's, what could go wrong? Right? <laughs> It's bittersweet now. I was like, you know, one of them just walked in. He's now 13. Like, I remember him being three and going and just oh, the cool. magic of that. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I, I know I just said two, but I would think like that ride and then that show was just like for me, it's just, it will always be special to me because I just remember four little boys and little mm -hmm. Indiana Jones, you know, Indiana Jones hats just sitting there and just me going like, oh my God, like, I thought I was going to have four girls and I have four boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but every time I ride Star Tours, it's always a different type of ride experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. The cool thing about it. I love how it changes. Yeah. Renee, what, what would be your favorite at Hollywood Studios? I'm going to have to copy Audrey. It is Star Tours. It has always been. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. It's my kids don't even care about it. It's me. It's all me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I love that. Andrea, what about you? 
So I will say for the whole family, Star Tours, because I have an anxious, one of mine is anxious and he doesn't do very much. So for us all four, that's the one that we can all do and we all really, really like. Um, my personal favorite, if I'm selfish, is Rock and Roller Coaster. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love the just the zero to 60 or whatever it is really super fast. And it always feels really cold in there, which is so like refreshing from when right. you're inside. And this last last year, my oldest went on it for the first time and he did it a couple of times. And I just like I like the fast rides, I guess, but that would be my personal favorite. And then of course, Toy Story Mania is everybody like we love to compete and all that. Yeah. There's a lot of good ones. And we're getting into the sweet spot now because my kids are 10 and almost eight. So it's like they want to do a lot more than just the shows and things like that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, for our family, the kids always rush to Toy Story Land. My kid, my seven-year-old is obsessed with Slinky. Yes. So, I mean, we constantly do that. And, you know, every time he gets braver and braver, it's like, I want to do the Hollywood Tower Tower. I'm like, you ain't gonna laugh on there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's actually one of my favorite rides, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm scared of heights, but yeah. I don't know. It's yeah, like, I'm surprised just for, to hear you say that after the it's Because it's so fast and yeah. like, I don't know, it's just kind of like, I, I the the sense of like feeling like I'm in space for like those five seconds when I'm levitate my butt is levitating off the <laughs> you know and like my hair is going up I'm like man I you, you know you can't get any closer to space than that no you know what I mean oh yeah Betsy. Slinky Dog is so good that's like another that. one that yeah. we just have tried and I can't wait to get back so my youngest will do it I think he'll do it next time. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, well, um, you know what we have to start preparing for here shortly is Avengers Endgame. I'm already prepared. Ooh. I have my tickets. No way. Good night. Are you guys going to pay the $96,000 for an <laughs> eBay ticket? <laughs> yeah. I just tra traded in the college fund, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, listen, listen, if, if these people like would like put it on eBay and they'd be like, all right, we're going to do like $4,000 and get to have like Chris Evans and, as your date on the red carpet, I'd be like, oh girl, I'm going to like go to the bank and get a loan for a second. I'll figure it out. Right? I know. I was When I heard people were selling them, I was like, I have four tickets for opening night. Make me an offer. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Audrey, are your kids excited about Oh my god. Are they into that stuff? Beyond. Beyond. Yeah. And, no, and no one's allowed to talk about it either because oh. no one wants to be talking about like my husband's like, I don't want to hear any theories. I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> no one's allowed and my son William is like been like I mean, he's upset. We're obviously obsessed. And he's been watching like YouTube videos and talking yes. to his friends. And my husband's like, I don't want to hear anything. I want to go fresh. I don't want to see anything or hear anything. Don't tell me. But I mean, That's yeah. Me. So my son has been obsessed with the YouTube videos. He's telling me about all the Legos that, that you know, like a month ago. He's like, did you know this This set is called this? And I'm like, don't tell me any of it. I don't want to. <laughs> He's like, really into it. They like, want to start on YouTube. Them. YouTube has yeah. vanished until after the day. Well, we'll definitely have to, uh, you know, um, for that show, which will be the 20, was it the 24th? 24th, yep. 24th. Uh, we'll have to dress up in our favorite Marvel. We'll have to do a Disney bounding for the show. I love it. And um, surprise, surprise, you guys want to tune into that show because we're going to have some amazing endgame prizes for you guys up the grass. Yay. I want these things. Yeah, our Captain Marvel prizes were amazing, and I'm pretty sure that these are going to be amazing, too. Yeah, but awesome. as sad as it is, our time is up, but we have went past. talked oh, about, that, right? yeah, did. <laughs> um, about all these new policies and new things happening. If you guys have any questions or if you guys think of anything, make sure to comment below, and we will be sure to address and comment back. And I just want to, you know, thank our lovely guests for joining us tonight, taking time out of their night to join us. But um, please make sure to watch us next Wednesday night at 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Thank you guys again, and we will make sure to see you guys next week. Yay, thanks Bye. for having me. Bye. Bye.